Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, July 12th. I almost forgot what week it was. But uh, Libra, let's see what we have going on for you at this time, Libra. I just want to get like a, I feel like I need to get a good shuffle here, but make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked down below. There are tons of scammer spammers and all the other stuff going around right now, so make sure that you don't get scammed. Uh, I will never ask you for money. I will never ask you to pay for a personal reading. I do not do personal readings. So again, if anybody is doing that, make sure to report the profile, and uh, that's that. So uh, Libra, let's see what's going on here. Really nice reading, actually, uh, for you. You have this truth card. <laughs> so for some of you, uh, it, see, it seems like Libra always gets something about the truth in their readings. So there could be some sort of truth coming out, but really this could just be you living your own inner truth. I kind of see this as uh, time as well. It's like there's this tree here, but it kind of looks like it's growing like this, you know, like off to the side here. And intuitively I feel it's like saying that you have been shaped by the truth, but it could also be saying that there is an inner truth that you want to be living and it's going to take time, you know, or it has taken time for you to be able to live your inner truth. You have the world, the six of cups and the 10 of cups, really nice row. I mean, this is like fortune after difficulty, happiness, good things coming in for you. Uh, I always look at the six of cups as a gift from the universe. And, uh, you know, the six, six of cups can represent soulmates, happiness, children, you know, all sorts of stuff, Libra. But I kind of am looking at this as a gift from the universe or a gift that you could be receiving here. And uh, in a lot of ways, I feel like the gift that you are receiving with the six of cups is a turnaround. Again, uh, to me, the six of cups can just represent uh, things turning around for you, basically uh, things improving in your life, right? So I feel there's like some sort of improvement uh, going on for you here with the six of cups. I like that. I feel like that's good for you here, Libra. It's like kind of like uh, the, usually, by the way, I, I don't think I said this properly, but the six of cups can say that you've been bumping up against an obstacle in any area of your life. It could be love. It could be business, anything. You, maybe you're trying to get a job, right? And when the Six of Cups comes up, it basically says we can experience a turnaround in the, in the sense that we get to move forward. We finally get to get the thing that we've been waiting for. You even have the world, which is like a completion of a cycle or an ending of a cycle that you've been experiencing uh, for a very long period of time. So uh, that's nice. But let's see uh, what we have going on for you here, Libra. I do feel like there's uh, ten, 10 of Cups is fortune after difficulty, by the way. Uh, you have the Page of Wands uh, here. Um, I'm not going to open my mouth just yet. Uh, Net of Pentacles here. And the uh, We Don't Know. So uh, the cards don't want me to pick one yet. So let's see here. And the Tower. So I feel for some of you that it's like you're kind of moving away from something from the past, clearly. Um, the world and the tower, really not a big deal coming up. In, it's coming up in your past position. So this is probably something you've already experienced here with the tower. Uh, Ten of Cups of the tower kind of does suck, you know, so I do feel... Basically, what has sucked for you here, Libra, is the fact that maybe you had something that brought you a lot of happiness, could have been a relationship, a job, whatever. Uh, the Ten of Cups can also be a dream as well. It can say that uh, maybe you've had a dream to do something and the tower is kind of like the disintegration of something that you thought you were going to have or, you know, something that you thought you were going to create, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. So it's like something has come to an end here. And it's probably something that you thought was going to be really good. You know, it's kind of like the disappointment basically right here. You know, I hate to say it, but again, it's coming up in your past position. So you've probably already experienced the disappointment. Sometimes I think when we get a combination like this, Ten of Cups, Tower, it can say that we kind of uh, are disappointed because of our own expectations. And uh, I do feel that some of you, and, and again, you know, this is not a criticism. We I do this all the time, right? I, I get overly excited. I think that something is going to be better than it actually is. And then you have the tower moment, right? And so I feel like that's just what you've been through, um, that you have experienced something like that. 
like I said, it doesn't really matter if it's love, if it's business, if it's moving. Uh, I, I also, again, I feel for some of you here, this could be one of those things where you move, but you don't feel different. It's kind of funny because my brother and I moved to Seattle like four years ago, and like I thought I was going to feel different, <laughs> but uh, I didn't even feel like I moved. <laughs> I just felt, I was like, I, I don't feel any different at all, right? So this could be like the disappointment of something along those lines, where it's like you kind of make something out to be more than it actually is. And I feel like that's the truth that could have come out in the past is that, maybe, and again, I feel for some of you, it could be love, for others, it could be something else. And it's like, you know, it's like something is needing to be filled in here, right? It's almost like this has maybe left a gap in maybe in your soul or in you. And it's like you're, you have this craving for something to be filled. Even my stomach just growled <laughs> as I was saying that. And so for some of you, it's like there's this, um, I kind of almost feel this emptiness here in this first row, where it's like something feels like it's missing from your life. And you could be kind of like looking to fill in that gap, if that makes sense. You have the buy the book card. I, I don't think this card helps. Sometimes I like this card, sometimes I don't. Uh, I would say here that, you know, this could represent certain expectations that people have put upon you in the first place. And that's kind of like what I'm getting intuitively is that maybe you're feeling this gap because everybody tells you you need to do this thing or that thing or the other, right? So for some of you, it could be love. Like maybe everybody's been telling you you need to get married and when you get married, you'll feel happy and blah, blah, blah. But maybe you've tried it and you didn't. So, you know, I feel for some of you, that's kind of like what's creating this feeling. For others, it could be a career. I'm cheating a little bit because to me, just based off the astrology, I feel like a lot of people who have careers are going to be like, I don't want a career. <laughs> like, you know, it's like society tells us, oh, we have to go and slave away for, you know, however many years, 40 years of our lives. And, you know, we have to stay stuck in traffic for hours every single day and all this other stuff. And uh, that's coming to an end for pretty much everybody. There are plenty of people. And again, if you love your career, great. I'm not, you know, this message is not for you. There are plenty of people who are still going to love their career, of course. But um, if you're kind of like leaning away from it, it makes perfect sense because, again, astrologically, I think most people are going to be moving away from it. That doesn't mean all people, just most people, right? And what I would say here is I feel like for some of you, you're just like, I, I did what I thought I was supposed to do in a situation. And again, it could be any situation, love, money, spirituality, business, career, whatever. And it's like things just feel empty to me here. Uh, I kind of like this reading though. So don't get scared just yet because I feel like you're, le you're moving towards fulfillment. Uh, Ace of Cups. You have the King of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Queen of Pentacles. What is my true purpose is what the uh, Judgment card says here, Libra. The King of Wands is pretty specific to me. Uh, you know, to me, um, King of Wands is one of my favorite cards in the deck. And to me, the King of Wands is a card of nurturing something. So with an energy like we're picking up here in this reading, the King of Wands says, like, where can I put everything I got? You know, he raises like children. That's how I always think of the King of Wands as something where it's like maybe this doesn't necessarily have to do with children. For some of you, it could. But he raises something like a child, like a business or um, his health, you know, what, whatever it is he's working on. He really takes care of it. He really puts in the time, effort, and energy to make something happen. I feel like that's what you're looking for, whether, you know, and again, could be a relationship. You're looking for that relationship where you feel called to be in it, but you also have the resources to give to it as well with the Queen of Pentacles. But you're looking for that thing that makes you want to invest in it is what the King of Wands is saying to me here in your reading. I would call this a very big picture reading here, Libra. I don't really, it could be talking about, you know, love and all that other stuff. But to me, this is really just saying that you are seeking that, the, um, you know, I feel like you're kind of seeking your own inner truth. You're, you're seeking the, like the places where you can put your energy, whether, and again, whether it's in career, love, money, spirituality, work, whatever, you're looking for your kind of like soul's call, inner calling here with this judgment energy. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, again, I, you always get the Queen of Pentacles, which is pretty crazy, Libra. I also feel like this could be talking about your resources and like where you put your energy, Libra. So let's see here. You have the Fool. Yeah, definitely like you're being called to something new, new beginning. You have the hangman here. Uh, I feel like you're hope it's like you've been hoping for enlightenment, and you have the <laughs> you have the ace of cups. Your emotions overflowing. Again, sometimes I think when we find that thing where we can put all our time, effort, and energy into it, uh, then we kind of create an overflow of energy. And uh, you know, the secret here is that this cup kind of fills itself, right? Because it's going into the pool. It's almost like a fountain effect. You know, it's going into the pool, but just recirculating energy. So for a lot of you, 
I would say that this reading is saying that you're looking to jump into something where, again, you can put energy in, you get energy back, and it just kind of refills your cups and causes them to overflow. For a lot of you, this could be left, you know, you could be looking for that type of relationship where it's kind of like the energy is, is just self-filling, um, right? And for others, uh, I definitely feel this is more of like a calling. And I do get this sense of you maybe moving away from a career or looking for the type of career where you can, again, create that self-filling energy, if that makes sense here, Libra. And I feel like that's going to be a major pull for you, not just this week, but I would say for like the next six months. I feel like that's it's going to start to like build and build and build. And then I feel like the process of it's almost like you're in the process of discovering what this is because of the hangman. The hangman puts himself in hangman mode to uh, to find enlightenment, right? He's trying to find enlightenment here. He is needing to look at other ways of doing things. So again, for some of you, it's like maybe you've been told your whole life you need a career or whatever, but maybe you hate it. <laughs> and so the hangman needs to see that there is another way of doing things. Maybe you need to start your own business. Maybe you need to start a YouTube channel. I keep telling people it's like in, in the future, um, you know, Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus is going to make things like YouTube even more possible for pretty much everybody, right? And uh, social media as well. It's like there's a lot of, I think, like darkness in social media right now, but I do feel things are going to improve. And I also feel like there are going to be like opportunities for people to make money even based off of things that they find interesting or whatever. So the hangman is like needing to see that there's another way of living, you know, it's needing to see that there's another way to uh, kind of live, like live your dreams or to cause your cups to overflow. You have the Page of Swords here, uh, so definitely needing to research, needing to look into things. Like I said, I, it, this isn't going to be, this is something that's developing in your life, I feel, Libra, where if you're making a change, uh, that this is something that is going to take a little bit of time. This is something where you're probably going to have to experiment and explore and all this other stuff, so it's not going to happen overnight. Like I said, I feel like this is a process that you're feeling pulled towards over the next six months to make some sort of change. And the type of change that we're making here, again, is probably pretty significant in your life, Libra. But it's like, it's going to be a process of discovery. You know, you're going to be learning and figuring things out and trying to see uh, what will make you happy, Libra, with the Ace of Cups. So you have the Ace of Cups, the Death card is the change, and the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups, I don't actually hate this for you, because Four of Cups is kind of like, you know, again, I feel that part of the energy that we're getting here on the four cups is an energy that is saying you thought things were supposed to be a certain way and they weren't right <laughs> and he's dis he's disappointed by what he has manifested in front of him right right so it's like maybe everybody's like oh you have to get a career and you have to get married and like all, all this other bs that we're taught our whole entire lives right when really we shouldn't be listening to anyone. As I always say, don't listen to me. You should listen to yourself because your your soul knows exactly what it wants, right? So, you know, what I would say here is that, you know, you shouldn't listen to anybody. You should listen to yourself. And and everybody's different, right? So everybody wants something different in life and out of life and all this other stuff. You create your own reality. And I feel like this is saying that maybe because you lived what other people want, you went, you went by the book, that's where the disappointments are coming in. The good news is, is that the death card says that there is a change coming and that the sun is coming up. The sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon here. So I feel that there are major improvements coming in for you and also happiness with that Ace of Cups. I love this reading for you here, Libra. I feel like there's just a lot of good stuff. Uh, you have the Empress. Are you kidding me? Uh, total abundance, total happiness, good things coming in for you. Uh, definitely harvest. I feel like you need to trust your intuition with that empress like i said i feel like you need to trust yourself i think what people are learning is like you know if you notice like in the news and pretty much everything everybody's like you have to live this life or you have to live like this right it's like all everything's like a group right and uh, i encourage people to stay away from groups for the most part i'm not saying that you can't have beliefs i mean you can believe whatever you want right but what i am saying is that i feel like these um, people are going to start probably moving away from believing just like one one like thing right because it's very limiting and it's and it's kind of like it starts to get a little bit crazy. So I feel like for the most part, uh, that's what we're going to see. And uh, I feel like this is you living the life that you want to live, right? With the uh, Empress card.
You have the Hierophant. Yes, again, there are the rules. There are the regulations. There's the box they have to fit in. The Hierophant is boring as shit, okay? The Hierophant is, like, one of my, I, I, like, I don't particularly like the Hierophant. It reminds me of the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is boring. As I, I literally said in a reading last week, I was like, King of Pentacles is like, you know, the guy walking around with a pocket protector. The guy who, you know, probably organizes the forks and spoons in his kitchen. The guy who, you know, puts his forks, knives, and spoons in a certain way in the dishwasher. You know, whatever, right? Boring, nerd right? That's what I would say here. This to me is you want to break out of the box. That's what I feel like you're doing here, Libra. You're like trying to not necessarily have to fit in a box here with the Hierophant. You're wanting to live your own life, right? Plain and simple. And again, it doesn't matter what your beliefs are. You should be allowed to believe whatever you want. It's funny because, um, you know, recently I've seen like a lot of videos in the tarot community popping up where people are like, don't follow readers like this. Don't follow readers like this. And meanwhile, you know, I'm the type of like follow who resonates. It doesn't matter. You know, to me, this like gatekeeping that's going on is ridiculous in the tarot community. It's like nobody's better than anyone else. It's like follow what resonates. So I'm not going to tell you what to believe. I'm not going to tell you who you should follow. I feel like you should listen to yourself. As I said, and if that's not me, that's not me. Plain and simple, right? And that's what I feel like this is saying here. Uh, and you have the Five of Cups here as well. I feel like you need to see you have, you have a lot to gain. You go from the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, disappointment. Like I said, the disappointment that things didn't turn out how they were supposed to turn out. Supposed to, right? I, I've been talking about this for weeks as well. To me, the most dangerous thing right now is a supposed to. Basically, things are supposed to go this way, that way, whatever, right? It's like things are supposed to go the way uh, that you create. And I feel like that's what you're starting to realize. Uh, okay, I've been babbling on too long. Wait, wait, like, where is this going, Libra? Let's find out. I'm too nosy. Nine of Cups, dream life. Nine of Cups says, they like, you know, it is your dream life. It could be a knight in shining armor, but really, this is a big picture reading. Again, he's looking into that cup. He's like, where's my life going? What, what do I want to manifest? But he needs to cross this river here in the front to get to where he's going, Libra. You have the Three of Wands, expansion, growth. Three of Wands says there never will be a perfect moment for you to do something that you want to do. People always, you know, whenever I have do readings like this, which happens from time to time, where I really feel like this reading is encouraging you to do something that maybe puts you out in the world or whatever, I always get someone who comments and is like, I'm 85 years old. I can't do anything. I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> You're leaving a comment on this YouTube channel right now. Uh, or I get like 85-year-olds who are like, I can't start a YouTube channel. I'm 85. I'm like, yes, you can, right? You could absolutely do it, and you probably become very popular popular as well. So it doesn't matter how old, how young, how tall, how short, how anything you are, Libra. I feel like it's time for you to do something here. And the Eight of Cups, yeah, walking away, you know, in a lot of ways, it's kind of funny that we have this disappointment here. Eight of Cups is like, you're not sure where where you're walking. You're not sure where you're going, but um, Eight of Cups, he's walking towards fulfillment, right? He's walking towards the Nine of Cups. Uh, where is this going? Emperor. Uh, Emperor and Empress soulmates. So some of you could be finding your divine counterpart. I like to remind people that the emperor and the empress could also just be like you and your higher self. You could be embracing your truth right here. And that's what's leading to success. Three cups, celebration for sure. And the death card, major transformation. Sun is coming up, Libra. Damn, Libra. This is a good reading. I love this. So I definitely feel like you're kind of like just moving towards your inner truth here. It looks really good. Definitely could be love coming in for you as well if you're looking for a divine counterpart. P could be a fire sign. Um, I get the sense that some of you are already with this person as well. Marriage is what I would say here. So uh, Hierophant definitely could be getting with a person here. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a f uh, fire sign as well. I'm leaning towards fire for you, Libra. Again, you know, take it however it resonates, right? To me, it's a general reading. It could be any sign that's coming in for you. But if you're in a relationship, I feel like this could be a divine counterpart. I would make sure it doesn't become boring, right? I keep telling people the most important thing right now is if we're going to get in a relationship, we need to get into a relationship where we keep the romance alive, where we do things to keep the romance alive, whatever that means for you, right? And so that's something that has to be talked about. But if you're doing that, this could be very solid. Uh, so this looks amazing. I love it. So thank you for being here, Libra. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Libra. And uh, definitely enjoy your week.